it's not something I can just brush off, especially since it's about me. I thought I just forgot. I thought I got in Hoops Peak Academy because I had talent all along, but shit! Oh, he's very upset. My whole life. Oh no, poor Hajime. I like. I'm. I'm. I'm starting to connect to Hajime more. You know, I'm starting to like feel the connection. My whole life, I just wanted to feel confident about myself, and I thought getting into Hope's Peak Academy meant I'd finally become someone I could be proud of. Not some fucking backup student. Damn, when Hajime curses, you know it's serious. Right? Cheer up, Hajime. It doesn't matter if you're from the reserve department. Hajime, the ultimate disappointment. Oh my god. <laughs> Poor Hajime. He's, he's just so sad. Oh, I feel bad now. <laughs> of course. She is right. No matter what, you are our friend. You know there is a saying in Japan. Listen. Fear is grateful for the danger. What does that have to do with anything, Sonia? Hey. The hell? You're saying that all wrong. <laughs> so everyone was here. It was a real close battle. I am sorry. Oh. You have arrived? Hello, DJ! I apologize. Oh, whoa, I got dizzy off that. Man, I gotta get better at uh, panting again. <laughs> I apologize. I was trying to cheer you up, but I ended up saying the wrong thing. You've arrived with what, DJ? <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Stuff is just hard to say sometimes. Huh? That's weird. Maybe you can't see me. Oh, uh, no can do? Okay. Huh? What the heck? You're covered in blood! Mm -hmm. uh, you saw me! Finally! Thank you, you ungrateful assholes! Yes, that's right. The, the motto piece this time was very strong. You? Gross, don't get close to me. I'm out of here. Whoa! Hello! Uh, script! Hello, Danma, and welcome to the armory. Come on in and find a spot next to the axe and the yo-yo. Uh, can we get some, uh, I don't know, g give me an emote for cool in chat that's not mine, because I don't have mine yet. But hey, you're a cool dude. Maybe maybe some curse lits? I don't know. Something like that. There it, there it is. Yep, there it is. What? Yeah, can we get... Can we get some, uh, some, some, uh, c capital B parentheses in chat? <laughs> no gratitude. I'm being treated like filth. Hey, hey. Hey, why don't you clean that blood off? We're trying to eat. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm ashamed of myself. Why are they treating her like shit? You forgot the other parentheses, DJ. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wipe, 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 wipe. There we go. Wait, why was she bleeding? She's a robot. Wait, wait, wait a second. Wait just a heckin' second. Anyway. There we go. Now then, allow me to report to you all once again. After a fierce battle that's never been seen in history. Yeah, we've never seen it because nobody knows that it happened. It's a pretty good hype emote. See, <laughs> I wish I had my hype emote. My. Anyway, it, it's gonna be approved eventually. I swear. I'll check every hour. I finally succeeded in conquering the last motto beast. Because of this, it's finally impossible for you to travel to the final island. Yay! Uh, see. What a good reaction! It's like I'm surrounded by tons of shabu shabu from an all-you-can-eat restaurant. I don't know what shabu is. What is someone uh, who's more culturally aware than I am? Let me know what that is, because it's lost uh, on me. Don't tell me. This again? You're gonna say stuff like, it's not like we can get off this island. Why bother going to the new island? <laughs> well, it's true, I don't really expect much. Don't misunderstand. But who said we weren't gonna go? Obviously we're gonna go, dumbass. Huh? I, I see Fuyuhiko's getting back to himself a little bit too. He's getting more vulgar again. But not like, just unnecessarily vulgar. Huh? So... Assume we were thinking about running away with some mistake. Cause if we can't run, that. we'll fight! I'll crush everyone to put us through this crap in one blow! No, you won't. You're probably gonna die, except you won't, because you're Hina 2.0! Hey, hey. Fight? Seriously, the fearsome group is called World Ender for a reason, you know? They end worlds! How are you gonna deal with that? What if they just end the world you're on? Then you're just in space! You can't deal with that, you're gonna die! Can't breathe! What are you saying? Why... why you? Did you forget what we said earlier? Hey, hey, hey! 
Dumbass, I only said that because I was trying to impress with Sonya. What? D don't brag about that. Settle down. Just slamming, slam our cards out on the table, gavel down, shut up everybody. If you have the power to fight among yourself. Whoa. If you have the power to fight among yourself, then direct that power toward our enemy. All right. Now then, let us go forth. Offense is the best defense. Damn right. You're right. Now's not the time for us to be bickering. The theory crafting? Yeah, uh, Monami is actually human, and she's just uh, a very small, very short human that's in a bear costume. All right. uh, I'm getting pumped up! Let's charge our way to that new island! The future up. foundation, Monokuma, Monami? I'll crush them all at once. Why Monami? She's trying to help! That's even me? I don't understand the hate towards Monami, like... Like, I understand it as a comedic device, but like, she, she's doing her best! She's trying, you know? You guys seem reliable. Hey, don't talk like you're not included. You're our friend too, you know. Mm. You're right. Leave it to me. Then I gotta do my best too. As we left the restaurant, the expressions on our faces were clearly different than they were before. That barely makes sense. <laughs> I would put... <laughs> Man, I, I'm gonna be salty about that forever. Until it, it is approved, I'm gonna be salty. Don't worry, though. You can uh, put the salt on a nice side dish and enjoy some some nice salt fries. I don't know. Oh, hello. Uh, thank you for the bits, DJ. The Those, uh, what is that, forehead? I don't remember what emote that is. But, yeah, thank you for those, uh, those, those nice, nice bitties. They were filled with strong will and determination. They were filled with determination? Monomi is saying... <laughs> <laughs> That's just the theory. Uh, a game thing. Okay. It's a worn out joke. You don't understand how this works. Uh, DJ, essentially you just gave me five cents. So thank you for that. Um, you watch ads to get that you're the boss. <laughs> Armed with that, we begin walking towards the last island. Bits essentially are you watch ads or you can buy them. And one bit equals one cent equals one prayer equals one like. You don't have five cents. You got it for free. You, it doesn't charge you anything. If you have them, then you already have the currency. But the clouds in my heart still lingered. I couldn't stop thinking about the reserve department. And that filled me with a strange, uncomfortable feeling. Like a small bone was lodged in my throat. I know that feeling. That's a great feeling. But I try not to think about it. See, ignoring your problems makes them go away. You heard it here first. Actually, you probably haven't. This is probably a long time of you hearing it. I'm gonna keep talking now. I tried to stay focused on moving forward. Oh, that's a very scary building. Smile at hope in the name of despair. That's very, uh, very this game of a title. I am... My throat is not used to talking this much anymore. Okay. With the mono beast gone, we crossed the fifth bridge and arrived at the final island. What is this like? St oh, I. This is the last island. I like this. This is actually pretty cool. Enormous buildings towered everywhere, as if the entire island was one gigantic city. This is like steampunky. Not really steampunky. More like dystopian. I guess both of them combined. It's the feeling of being throat punched. Ah. <laughs> like, you just see Akane just, like, walk by and just throat punch, uh, Hajime. He's like, I don't know why I'm feeling this way. It felt very sci-fi, as though the island was a snapshot of an urban metropolis from the near future. I guess it has an ambiance befitting of a final island. <laughs> I like that little fourth wall break there. That's pretty good. Oh, this is- Oh, this is- Oh, dystopia. This is all dystopia themed. This is terrifying. What is this? Is this a library? Sea King Industries. What is this? I- is it- what? Sea King. My favorite water type Pokemon to evolve from, uh... I'm a fraud. I don't remember what it is. Goldeen. There we go. There's a bunch of strange machines lined up in all directions. It feels very sci-fi. You already said that, Hajime! Come on! Think of some original material! I'm the best person to be saying that! <laughs> Seeking Industries. Huh? huh? They're a company that specializes in manufacturing electric insulation and other machine parts. They're a mid-sized company with only 100 employees, but they're the biggest corporation on Jabberwock Island. And this place looks like a research facility. 
For a mid-sized company, this is a pretty nice facility. Uh. Ah! Uh, thank you again for the five bits, DJ. Doll on the right. Thank you, Terry. I appreciate that. I, because I will definitely miss them on my own. Uh, anyway, I got distracted by DJ's bits. You know, I was just, I just looked, uh, I, was, I wasn't looking him in the eyes, I was looking him in the bits. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna keep going now. I guess so. I only read about them in a pamphlet next to the reception desk. Besides, the size of the company isn't the issue here. What's going on? This company obviously doesn't make machine parts, so what the heck are they making here? I'm sorry if that last joke was uh, too vulgar for anybody. <laughs> He's right. It's like they're making something more dangerous. It's like they're making the Mono Beasts. You can add that quote if you want, yeah. <laughs> it seems like it might be good to thoroughly investigate this place. Uh, doll on the ro oh, I see it, yeah, there it is. What is it? Is he a doctor? Oh, he's, he's got a- serious? Man, I wish I had a TV remote, uh, stapled to my arm. That would mean I'd never have to get the TV remote. Funny thing with this chapter, you only looked up one doll, Terry found them all? Oh, man. Terry's got those, those keen eyes. You can pick them out. See, meanwhile, I have uh, the dull eyes. I will literally not even see it, even if it's directly in front of me. Like, I can barely see Kazuichi right now. <laughs> 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 hey, Kazuichi, get a hold of yourself. <laughs> That's a good quote. <laughs> Why? Why? Because you just started laughing all of a sudden. <laughs> well, obviously, what am I going to do except laugh? I mean, it's just so childish. What are you talking about? Hey. Well, there's a computer over there, so I started snooping around to see if I could find any clues. Whoever was using this computer must have been sending emails to his buddy or something. Can we send emails? <laughs> he was probably trying to write a manga or something. He sent one of his story's ideas to his buddy. Oh, what is this? It was such a horrible, delusional story. I was so embarrassed to read it that it gave me goosebumps. Is it, like, the plot of, like, Despair Girls or something? Delusional story? So, what was written in the email anyway? Well, I'll start with the idea for the story. Okay, so this is just what happened. This isn't a story, this is just a, like a recap of what happened when uh, Junko took over. Because I guess it was real. Apparently global riots are occurring in various regions around the world. And these riots were caused by high school students. I mean, seriously? That's not realistic at all. Pfft, how would that ever happen? <laughs> yeah. So these riots just keep growing as people grow more dissatisfied and frustrated with society. And so eventually, it spreads like an infectious disease all over the world. So unless Junko is like going like really, really deep in on this, being like making this lie, then I, I think it's, it's, she was telling the truth at the end of the first one. Hmm. Footage of the riots started getting circulated, and strange incidents started occurring after one another. A hopeless anxiety instantly spreads throughout the world as the end of the world gets closer and closer. End of the world? End of Zawardo. Haha, <laughs> JoJo reference. Whoa hoo hoo! I know, right? It sounds like something a lame high school band would think of as a song title. Hey. Whoever wrote this needs to come up with better story ideas, because this wasn't realistic at all. So was this is this just like him being stupid, or is this just uh just Chunsoft taking a shot at themselves? I mean students causing a riot on that scale is totally impossible. I never believed for a second. <laughs> but I learned a valuable lesson. I should always delete embarrassing emails right away. Hey, about that, are you sure it's okay to say that's just a made-up story? And did you delete that important email? Because it would have been really good to have, and if you deleted it, then I'm going to be really mad at you! Of course! I mean, unrealistic things might happen in life from time to time, but... Of course not! There's no way this is real! It's more impossible than a notebook that kills people just by writing in it! Hey! That's a Death Note reference! Ibuki, yeah, I was thinking about Ibuki when he said that. But hey, look, that's a Death Note reference! Remember the Death Note Netflix movie? I didn't watch it, my girlfriend did, and she said it was awful, because she watched the, uh, the anime, and so, uh, yeah, I'm never going- I'm gonna probably watch it, uh, one time, just to see how bad it is, but, like, they had Willem Dafoe as Ryuk, they had Willem Dafoe, and they messed it up, how do you mess that up? You're right, it's just a lot of unimaginable things have kept happening to us, so maybe I'm getting a little confused. But the world ending? There's no way something so unbelievable could actually happen. I like the music for this place. Uh, it's, it's called Island Theme Song, in case you were wondering, because you can't see the music. This machine is making another machine. It's Skynet. The finished product looks like it's modeled after a four-legged animal. It's a mono beast, you dingle. Hey, hey, 
Does that animal-looking machine remind you of anything? 